Hey y'all, welcome to my channel and my very first video. Today I'm going to show you how we turn this old twin size bed that I bought at an antique store into a farmhouse style bench similar to this one that I found on Pinterest. I started by painting the bed with a white chalk paint I found at Walmart. I bought two and I ended up using about one and a half. Some of the reasons I love chalk paint is because it goes such a long way, it dries super fast and it sticks to just about anything. So you don't have to do any primer or sanding or anything like that beforehand, you just paint it right on. Since I had my bed frames leaning up against the siding to paint it, I waited till after it was dry before I turned it around. So I painted one side of each frame at a time. Okay, so after that first coat dried, I went back and I did the second coat. Letting it dry, I started de-stressing it with a piece of sandpaper, and I realized that it was going to take me all day if I did it this way. So I ended up getting my husband's electric sander out and sanding it and distressing it that way, which was a lot easier and a lot faster.
All right, next we took the footboard and we measured it to find the middle. We drew a line and then my husband cut it right on that line. leveling out the legs and making sure that they were even with each other, we screwed in each side into the headboard. And I would also like to add in that um, we are not professionals at building. Um, this is just how we made this bench. Uh, it's probably not going to be set on much. It's really just to sit in our room and to look pretty. I'm going to put pillows on it and put baskets under it for storage. That's mainly what this bench is for. We took the rails that came with the bed and cut them to the size that they needed to be to be the support for where the seat will go. day and this is how the rails turned out. I painted them white in just the places that you would be able to see it. how long we needed to cut the 1x4s to go across the bench for the seating. done sanding I stained the seating and I realized that my camera wasn't on but I did get the end of it 
Um, I would suggest staining the wood before you attach it to the seating because I ended up getting it a little bit uh, onto the white so I had to go back and fix that. So definitely stain it before you screw it in. happy with the way that it turned out. At night I'll be able to put my decorative pillows on it instead of having to throw them in the floor and so it's going to be very useful and it's also very pretty. And that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.